All right, guys, welcome back to Rock Talk. Um, I'm the same guy that was here last time with Charlie Blackman, and today we have another awesome guest. Uh, this is Rocky's catcher, uh, fan favorite now. Brings tons of energy, popular clubhouse guy. Everybody loves uh, Tony Waltz. What's up, guys? How's it going? All right, so this is Rock Talk Live. This is the second episode ever. Um, and the way it works is we need you guys to send us questions. So if you're following on Facebook Live or Periscope, uh, send your questions, and uh, this will be a lot of fun. So oh, again, yeah. this, is, uh, this is stripped down. We wanted no production. We wanted no host. It's two guys hanging out. Oh, they're uh, going fast. Guys, slow support. down, BP. All right, yeah, enough you know. of me talking. Uh, I'll actually ask Tony the first question. Uh, Tony, just take everybody through leaving Boston last night. We get a great win. Um, I want everybody to know kind of what happened in the next 15 hours in terms of travel, getting in, preparing for today, and uh, what did your what did your afternoon look like getting ready for tonight's game? Uh, definitely. Um, you know, we uh, we got done with our game around 11, and uh, we had some weather that we had to wait for until about. Midnight one. We didn't get back to Denver till around four. Um, I didn't get to go to sleep until around five thirty ish. So usually, usually on a game on a on a day game or a, a night game, we'll get to the field around noon for a, like a six forty game. But today, uh, because we got in so late, uh, we didn't have to come in till around four. Uh, but it gives us a little more time to sleep. But. All I was thinking about today was, you know, I needed sleep, I needed to get breakfast in me, go back to sleep, and then uh, eat some lunch, go back to sleep, and then get to the field and get ready. And you know, we have our we have our catcher meetings, we have our reports, uh, you know, uh, get ready to play the Giants and uh, you know win a ball game tonight. A lot of stuff that goes into it. So Tony's all he cares about is winning. That's what drives this guy. Um, we had a question from uh, Aaron Miyaki. Um, I wanted to ask um, about the question, for, uh, the transition from catcher to uh, infield to catcher that you've been through in the last couple of years. What, what has that been like for you? Uh, it's been it's been a blast. You know, um, I kind of uh, just I had a lot of people help me through this process and this transition uh, going with catching. But um, I can give all the credit to the pitchers. You know, the guys that are walking right behind me right now, uh, they help me out every day. And uh, you know, I'm I'm grateful to have so many great people in my life to you know help me in a in a transition like this, and you know, I'm loving catching so. All right, Matt Lively here on Facebook Live asks, have you ever caught a knuckleballer? We no. faced one in, in Boston. No, I haven't. <laughs> I've been wanting to, but it looks pretty hard. It does look pretty tough. <laughs> um, favorite meal before a game from uh, Chizzy Lovell? <laughs> Lovell? <laughs> Chizzy Lovell. <laughs> Do you have what's, your, what's your favorite meal before a game? Uh, favorite meal, probably... Uh, Probably pasta or something like that. Something yeah. Italian. Related, somebody on here on um, Periscope asked if you like chicken nuggets. I'm yes. not sure if that's a double oh, meaning. I love, <laughs> <laughs> I love chicken nuggets. I don't care if it's a double meaning. All right, JM Eitel from Facebook Live asked about the team dynamics. To speak oh, to that, the group team. of guys that we have and the camaraderie. Oh, the so, camaraderie with our team is unbelievable. We're, we're all brothers. Um, we're always all hanging out, messing with each other, giving each other hard times. So, um, you know, we are, we're always there for each other, and uh, you know, our team's gonna get stronger through the year goes. All right, I have a funny question for my personal collection. All right, you don't know this, I'm springing it on it right now. All right, so you played for the Akron Rubber Ducks, right? Yes. With the Cleveland Indians. Yes. All right, so would you rather fight one horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses? Oh. So one giant duck or a bunch of tiny little, little horses? <laughs> Probably one big duck. Just because, you know, they don't hurt as bad when they bite you, but probably a big duck probably hurts. But, you know, when you get bit by a horse, that thing, it hurts. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. so it's just little, I don't know, little tiny horses, I feel like it would hurt. I think so. <laughs> That's fair. Somebody here on Facebook Live here asked, um, who's the fastest player on the team? Yourself not oh, included. Fastest. This guy can move for it. It's probably Jason Mott right here. Guys, come here, Jason. He's probably our fastest guy on the team. He's a good looking cat. He throws about 100 miles an hour. We're, We're live on uh, Facebook Facebook and Twitter right now. Facebook? Talking to the people. What's, what's Facebook? Facebook is something that uh, hey. it's old people nowadays. I hey, think my grammar person just Facebook. called you slow. I am a little slow. Get out of here. <laughs> wow. Who wow. Is Who is that? Who is that? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to block you right now. <laughs> no. Cargo is Oh, they How think Cargo is faster than you, man. Probably. I'll race anyone for 400 bucks, though. 
Hey, I'll race anyone. Anyone for a hundred bucks. Yes. Set it up. You name it, I'll nice. race you for a hundred bucks. Yes. <laughs> Set it up, Twitter. Facebook. Facebook. Guys, the name. this is Aaron Aaron Munez. <laughs> What's up, guys? What's going oh, on? This, 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 oh, oh, hey guys. this is Carlos say Estevez. Hi. Say hi to the people. Carlos, say hi. Hey, what's up? Carlos Estevez, there's 100. Oh, come on, man. Well, this unraveled pretty quickly, <laughs> or raveled. Um, framing pitches. Um, how did you get so good at framing pitches from Monster underscore WF? Um, I just, I, uh, I kind of, I keep my glove really low and just, I always, I'm going up with the ball. And I just try to keep, I try to be soft and hard at the same time. kind of sounds weird, but uh, I just try to, I just try to catch the ball and get it back in the zone. All right. Um, we have one more question. Actually, I'm going to take over here. Uh, this was fun. We got a lot of other guys involved. All right, so Nick Hunley started this thing. It was his idea to do what we call Hunley Hunt. So Nick uh, will sign a baseball before the game. Nick wasn't available today, so we're going to have Tony do it. So Tony's going to sign a baseball, um, and he's going to usually toss it up into the stands, and somebody finds it and gets to keep it. Um, so we'll just pick out a fan, and uh, Tony's going to give him a little special prize. So in the future, uh, keep your eyes peeled for Hunley signed baseballs around the ballpark, um, and Tony will sign this one, and we'll give it to somebody. On, uh, we'll give it away on Twitter. We'll give it to you guys on Twitter. Twitter. There you go. All right, so we'll give that away for you guys. Um, thanks so much for tuning in. This is six minutes and 40 seconds. You got a lot of special guests today. Hopefully it was fun. Uh, let's give a shout out to Tony. This is a good dude. Make sure you Thanks, follow the Rockies, follow this guy. Yeah. Um, and follow him on Twitter also. Yeah. You guys, especially on Periscope, yes. go to the little magnifying glass or the search bar at the top, type in Tony Walters, click the blue follow button. Walters uh, with an O. With an O, not an A. Uh, but this was a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, tweet us, comment us, and maybe we can do it again sometime. Let us know who you want to see here on Rock Talk Live. All right, see you guys. See you guys.